For WTSA News and for Brattleboro Community Television on your Friday, October 22nd, my name is Ian Kelly. These are the stories we're following at this hour. The state of Vermont on Thursday reporting two deaths, 318 new COVID-19 cases, with 18 new cases reported from Wyndham County. The state of New Hampshire on Thursday reporting two deaths, 609 new cases of the virus, with one death and 44 new cases being reported from Cheshire County. The state of Massachusetts on Thursday reporting 20 deaths, 1,267 new cases of the virus, with seven new positive tests reported in Franklin County. Vermont State Police on Thursday say a flagger in a construction zone along Route 121 in Grafton was injured when he was struck by a car. The driver, 84-year-old Paul Nobles of Rockingham, suffered a medical emergency and went off the road, while the flagger, 45-year-old Bobby Jones of Bennington, suffered a minor leg injury. Jones refused treatment while Nobles was taken to Grace Cottage Hospital. Towns and select board members have made a public statement against acts of hate. The board released a statement in response to an incident reported to them last week. The statement says the following. The town of Townsend values all residents and visitors, no matter their backgrounds or identities. While differences of opinions can be celebrated and debated, we condemn symbols of hate being displayed in our town in disregard of the welcoming nature of our community as a whole. A bridge project in Rockingham is now complete. The Vermont Agency of Transportation made the announcement for the Interstate 91 Williams River Bridge replacement on Thursday. Reed and Reed Construction was the contractor for the job, and they've begun work on another big job, the replacement of the Route 119 Hinsdale Brattleboro Bridges. The Senate Judiciary Committee on Thursday morning approved the nomination of Vermont's Beth Robinson to the U.S. Court of Appeals for the Second Circuit, sending her historic nomination to the Senate floor for a confirmation vote. WTSA Sports, locally you can catch Brattleboro taking on Rice and Boys High School football action tonight on your home for Colonel Sports, 99.5 The Beast and at 99.5thebeast.com, beginning with the Colonel's pregame show tonight at 6.40. Game 6 of the American League Championship Series is this evening. It's in Houston, Nathan Avaldi on the mound for Boston, Louis Garcia on the mound for Houston. The first pitch is at 8.05 this evening, again from Houston with the Astros leading that series three games to two. Thursday night football saw the Cleveland Browns beat the Denver Broncos last night 17 to 14. For WTSA News and for Brattleboro Community Television on your Friday, October 22nd, my name is Ian Kelly. Have a safe and tremendous weekend, everybody.